So, Jack, who are these? This one is actually from Zavi. Zavi, okay. Right. What is Zavi? ODM. ODM vendor. Mm -hmm. And it actually is a dual, dual Wi Fi. This one has 11 BGN and uh, 5, 5 gig gigahertz or 11 AC in there. For that. So, 5.8. Because yeah, I don't think anyone's. So, what's the bandwidth here on the oh, copper? Uh, on the copper, how much coming in? The copper is on only uh, one line for that. Yes, which one? Uh, let me see. Is this one? No, no, no. no okay, no, no. this one. This one is actually a residential gateway RG. Ah, okay. So it's a WAN mm -hmm. and uh, the Wi-Fi. Okay. So, so this one, if you look at this one, where is the copper coming in? Ah, here. Okay. Right here, PSTN form and DSL DSL one and DSL two. Mm -hmm. This one is a bonding, bonding modem for that. Mm -hmm. And what is what is this? Uh, eSATA, so mm -hmm. USB eSATA. It's okay. actually for the hard disk connections. Okay. External hard disk. Right. For, uh, so use file it. server. So it can use as a file server. So this. this go to which company? This one actually is made uh, by T and W for Telefonica mm -hmm. in Europe. Mm -hmm. in Spain. They call it a free spark. So it's a Spain. And <laughs> yeah. this one? This one is a Bell Canada. Bell Canada. Yeah, Bell Canada currently is deploying deploying this. And it's a bonding bonding solution as well. There's a DSL one and two. Oh, okay. that? Yeah, the, the chips are the same on both sides. Uh, chips actually, uh, if you are talking about a huge uh, DSLAM, yeah. huge DSLAM, the chips are different. Yeah. But, but I think two of these could talk to each other though. Uh, no, uh, actually we have a CO, because the CO oh, and CP, so they yeah, yeah. manage differently, but we have a yeah. one core yeah. CO yeah. solution, okay. uh, which is based on um, the same architecture of the CPU. Yeah. Solutions, except that they, they manage they different, the right? And that's one to one, one port to one CPU yeah. combination. So, what, what bandwidth you got in the DSL here? Hmm? What is the DSL uh, bandwidth? V VDSL. VDSL. Yeah, standard. VDSL. Okay. Yeah, standard VDSL. Uh, so, what is this? That's a let's call live box. Uh, live box actually is in Europe. Yeah, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. <coughs> So what do you have here? Uh, oh, and and so this one has a, <laughs> it's a you know, it has a deck, you know, the deck, a telephone, <laughs> and a VOIP all in one box. <laughs> okay, so where is, which one is the deck? So you are going to see the DS, um, this one is a telephone wire DSL coming in from here, mm -hmm. right? So the tele telephone going out for that. And then there's a WAN connection, you can actually run the gigabit WAN, mm -hmm. as well as the LAN so for the connections. So this is a deck, huh? deck, right? This one is a deck. This one has a deck, a module in there. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can buy the handsets and so then extend the, the VOIP uh, reach. Uh, because what they are to talking about here is actually the parts connections now. Yeah, so it's two, two telephone lines. So, right. So but if you are going out, Actually, it's going out through the SIP uh, protocols. So you have SATA here for hard disk, just reset, and this is just a LAN. Yeah, those are just a regular LAN. And this is uh, the one. Yes, yeah. Right. So this is, uh, what the bandwidth in Europe uh, for the XDSL? Same, it's the same as same? ours, right. VDSL. Mm -hmm. It's a what? NX still NXA. It's a 100 megabit. I, I forgot what's the bandwidth for that VDSL. Mm -hmm. uh, range, but it's actually it's a higher band uh, than the ADSL. ADSL actually interfere with the voice, mm -hmm. but VDSL no, it's not. So <laughs> it's much higher. Yeah, usually those are all 12 volt DC coming in, uh -huh. and they need, they need a power adapter to change from 110 or 220 AC. Down to one. Why do you have two output here? <coughs> oh, uh, USB, this is USB. USB, right? Yeah, USB. You can actually connect USB to a printer, mm -hmm. or you can con connect the USB. So it's a printer server as well. Right, and also you can connect to the hard disk. Yeah. So right. all, of the, all of them have hard disk. Uh, is the company download to the hard disk from remote uh, some video stuff like this? Are uh, using it as a oh, video, usually, video servers? No, not yet. I mean, that's actually a lot of service providers, they are, they are thinking about how they are going to do the cloud. 
stuff. So usually they they don't they don't promote the hard disk <laughs> uh, connection at all. They want you to use their cloud, of course, right services. But however, um, with the USB 2.0, a lot of people they can actually go out and just buy a hard disk and connect it up, and it becomes so just a backup, backup server, but backup yeah. for its own for your local mm -hmm. uh, vendors, yeah, local um, for that. So what on the HPNA? Yeah, that's HPNA. So all the all the data is going to be coming in from when mm -hmm. uh, from this DSL. So after they come come in, the HPNA actually connected to a setup box internally. So which set of box uh, Bell Canada is using today? They actually had the uh, Motorola and also the Cisco. Standard set of box. Yeah, standard set of box, but they actually use the HPNA module inside. Okay. For the, the chip, the other chip here yes, as well? Yes, right, correct. The copper gate. Are you making everything or are you just making the, no, we the only chip itself? No, the, 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 the DSL model. Yeah, we call it uh, SOC. It's actually a major chipset in there to manage all other functions. So you have, you have the router on the, on the on your chip as well, or yes. you, you use somebody else? We use ours. You, okay, so you do everything except the the the, 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 right, the, the Wi-Fi or the switching chipset because if you have a full LAN, then you probably need a small switching chipset from a other company. Okay. So, like Wi-Fi, HPNA, switching chipset, those we, we don't, we have not, we have not integrated into our chipset yet. Okay. Thank you. Okay.